Hi folks, so today we're going to be going over how to make a dream horse. Uh, so first things first, you want to bring your tier 8 Corsair to Stone, Stone Tail Horse Ranch, uh, which is found here on the map. You can go somewhere else, but I just advise Stone Tail Horse Ranch because you've got your quests for your um, mythical horse as well over here anyway. So you want to check it in, you want to make sure that it's got no gear on it whatsoever. Uh, I recommend healing it up and getting its stamina. And then you come down here and there's, it's not Corsa Training. Is it Corsa Training? It is Corsa Training. So Corsa Training, and you're gonna need Crogdalo Origin Stones, which you can get from Simple Alchemy, uh, combining Swaying Wind Shard plus 20, so times 25, Rumbling Earth Shard times 25, and a Crogdalo, Crogdalo's Origin Stone. It's get it, sorry. <laughs> um, you can also get them from events and things, uh, and then these are the all the materials that you can use to make the dream horses. Now, the strength ones uh, will make it more likely to get a doom. Then the elegance ones are for the dine, and the skill ones are for the arduent. Now, if you look at each one of these, it tells you how to obtain. The blue ones are typically from events. Uh, it's generally the gist. You'll get them a few different ways, like killing enemies and things, but not very likely. Uh, and then the rainbow gem fruit is golden imperial, seal imperial delivery from, uh, or from the training reward box. Um, Stone tail fodder. This says it's simple cooking from farming byproducts, but that's changed. It's a case of you can actually just trade in your blush leaves to get four, I think it's four leaves for one or 20 leaves for one. Uh, it's no longer as efficient for those. Uh, the breezy conch shells is from fishing uh, seals, but it's not just the seals, it's also the hand in the bottles. Um, and then the next one is the ferocious uh, spirits pouch of ferocious beast, which is from hunting blue whales of calx. Or Corsa training box. I think there's another way of getting it. Oh, it's from the moles, from the moles from farming. Uh, then the next one is deep blue hoof fruit, uh, which is for the doom, and that is quite a hard one to get, but you get it through basically gathering uh, or the box again, uh, which can be got uh, golden seals imperial training times two, and then the last one, the pure open forest breath, is from defeating monsters or from Corsa training reward box. And so what you want to do once you get here is, as it says, uh, when it reaches 100 in, in one of them, it will have a higher chance of becoming that specific one. Uh, after 100%, the effects of Corsa training items is reduced by half. So the blue ones are 2%, the white, uh, sorry, green ones are 1%. So it goes down to 1% or half a percent. Uh, you need one stone per attempt. Uh, when the sum reaches 200%, you can do it. So you have to go up to 200%. Um, then each course of training level can be increased to a maximum of 180%. When the course is training level 180%, you will have an increased rate of 90% on obtaining the certain dream horses when awakening them. So basically, it's a case of if you go 180, you're more likely to get that one. Um, but obviously the extra six, uh, sorry, extra 80 of them, you're gonna need twice the amount of resources. Um, so then if the attempt is successful, you'll become a dream horse. If not, it's course of training level be set. Now, um, awakening attempt fails, even when constants are used. So uh, basically the way this works, is I've got a 1% success ch chance right now, but uh, I'm wanting to go for the dine just because that's the one that I haven't got yet. So if I put 100 in, I'll skip the animation, I get 150 instead of 200 because that last bit's not worth as much. Now, I would advise to use cronstones because I'll show you with cronstones and then without. Uh, I'll just put these 60 in to get this to 180, and then I need the 20% on the other one. Uh, I'll just throw these ones in. So you can do 20% there. Now I can do
do the Dream Horse Awakening. Now, without Cronstones, what you'll see, I wouldn't advise doing it without Cronstones, but I'll just show you what happens. So you wait for it to go through and fail, because there's no way that was going to go through on a 1% chance. Um, and then what you do is you go back in, course of training, and now everything's back at zero. You've got one fail, 1.2% chance. So it goes up by 0.2 every time. Now, I will throw the rest of these in for, I don't have enough to get it to 180%, um, but what I'll do is just so I can show you, uh, yeah, press the wrong button there, I was meant to press training, uh, then I'll do the rest with the flower, so that's up to 70%. I've gone to 205% uh, accidentally, uh, it doesn't change the rate. So if I use a cronstone this time, I'll show you how it works with cronstones, because it says you lose it. But what actually happens is once it goes through and fails, then you go back in, a course of training, you've still got basically half of what you'd put in. And with the fruits, uh, with these being, I mean, that one's down to less than a million. So these ones are actually cheaper, the strengths. Um, I don't know what's happened with the crash on getting strengths. I think people just don't like the dooms anymore because everything else is pretty much two, two and a half million. Uh, so if you're going after these ones, you might as well just use your cronstones because cronstones cost two million to buy. So it's cheaper uh, to just put those cronstones in. So what I'll do is I'll just go, I can't do any more attempts, but uh, basically you just keep doing it until you get a success. Uh, it's very low likely chance, so you're probably better off buying them from the market because you can actually buy them from the market. Apparently you can't access the market from here, but uh, you can go into the map, horse market, dream horses, and then you can see them all listed here. Of course, they are very expensive, so I don't expect people to buy them this way really, but that's basically, it's a case of buy them or try and make them. You're probably going to spend about the same amount of money either way. Uh, unless you get lucky. So that's everything for Dream Horses. It's shorter than doing your tier 8s, but it's more costly. A tier 8 courses. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.